Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about Beaver Builder Agency. So there's three different types of packages you can get with Beaver Builder, and we're going to dive into those. First off, though, I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to our channel. We have now hit 1,038. Thank you so much for the support and for the great questions and comments that you've left below. All right, so let's get into it. So we'll head over to wpbeaverbuilder.com. Um, on the front page, they just tell about Beaver Builder itself. But if you go over to pricing, they have three price points, and that's what we want to talk about. So there is the standard for 99, the pro for 199, and today we're talking about the agency for 399. What that basically gets you is multi-site network settings. So there's if you haven't used multi-site within it, you can set different settings based on the sites within it on a site-by-site -site basis. Multi-site capable for the pro just allows you to properly install it on multi-site, which isn't a big deal. Um, but I don't use multi-site, and I don't know very many people that do. Maybe they do. Um, so if this is not something you're interested in, which I'm not, is white labeling worth the $200 premium over the pro? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We do have the agency version. We'll walk you through what white labeling means, what you can do and where the settings are, and then you can make that decision between pro and agency. So let's get started. We have a website right here. This website doesn't have anything Beaver Builder on it. We are gonna install Beaver Builder and then we figured we'd show you uh, what the agency looks like and the settings that you can add. So we'll go down to plugins and then you'll see here we don't have anything installed yet. And we'll go to add new and then upload and then choose a file. And then we're gonna select uh, BB plugin dash agency. If you have standard, it's dash standard and dash pro. Um, so go ahead and hit install. We've used all of them and kind of worked our way up. So if you have any questions about any of them, please let us know in the comments below. Um, we'll just give this a second to upload to this site. All right, so now that it's active, first at the top it says, do you want to help us improve Beaver Builder by sending anonymous usage data? You can click here to learn more about what they collect, but I always hit no thank you. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, we use WP Rocket on this site. It's a caching plugin. So it just says, clear the cache if this affects the front end of the site, and it definitely does. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, it brings us directly to the welcome screen, just like the other ones. We're going to go ahead and put in our license key so we can get an update. All right, so I skip past that so the entire internet doesn't have my license key. So I hit save, it refreshed, it says settings, updated, license, saved, and now it's active. Modules, I just leave everything on. Um, social buttons is going away, but they might bring it back, so that's unchecked. Um, oh, there is an update, let me update quickly. All right, now that we've updated, we're back in the settings. So we go to settings, Beaver Builder, if we come down here, everything's the same, and I can skip through it quickly just to show you. Post types is where you want Beaver Builder to show up. Um, testimonials is just an additional plugin that adds that post type. So if you don't have it, that's how you do it. Uh, enable templates, this is all the same as in standard and pro. User access, icons, branding. So plugin branding is what the agency version of Beaver Builder adds to your site. So white label the Beaver Builder plugin using the settings below. So right now throughout the site, it's being called Beaver Builder. We can call it Page Builder. You can call it Your Company's Name Builder. Um, you can call it, I mean, anything. Um, but that right here now changes it from Beaver Builder to Page Builder. If I simply hit save, You'll see up here, it says Page Builder now instead of Beaver Builder. Um, all right, the icon, so the icon is this right here. If you don't want the cute little beaver with a hat, you can add your icon, you can add the client's icon, you can add anything you want. You just simply need to upload it to the site. All right, theme branding. So if I go under appearance, we have 
Right now it's on a Genesis, old Genesis theme. But right now we have the Beaver Builder Child theme, so it says Beaver Builder Child theme, and the Beaver Builder theme, which is the parent theme. If I go back to settings, I can change the name of those without going through the style.css sheet, uh, which you are welcome to do as well. So now I can say client, client theme description made, uh, company name, you just put in your company name, URL, do HTTPS or HTTP depending on what you have. All right, then theme screenshot, according to the codex, here it is right here. You don't have to look this up, I looked it up for you, but the recommended image size is 1200 PXY by 900 PX tall. Um, the screenshot will usually be shown smaller, but the oversight image allows for higher resolution, blah, blah, blah. So that's what that is there. So you want to Photoshop, affinity, whatever you use, uh, 1200 PXY by 900 tall. So what I've done is I've taken the client logo, and we're gonna add it as a new media. So I'm just holding down Control or Command, depending if you're on Mac or PC. So we're gonna upload new media. I'll go to Downloads, whoops. There it is right there, drop it in. So basically I've taken the client logo, put it on that size, and you'll see in just a second, edit. And then there it is there. Just title that screenshot. Copy the file URL, and I'll go back to Page Builder and paste it in here. I wish for my extra $200 that they had an upload link here. Uh, maybe I'll add that as a feature request and maybe they'll actually do it. So theme screenshot URL, it can be to your site. So our site's Press Avenue. I could upload it there, but I'd rather everything just be local to the site. So I go ahead and hit save. So there's that, then I'll go back to appearance and a new tab. Let's close some of these. And now there you have it. So there's their logo and then it says client theme. I can name it Black Belt Broker. Um, I wish you could name the parent theme, which you can't. Um, can't currently right now. So that's the plugin branding. Next, we are going to go to the help button Let's see, so under the help button, you can enable the help button. So that's just when you're in Beaver Builder, there's a help button. There's a tour, I actually turn these, whoops. I turn the tour off, so you can see that if I turn the help button off, all this disappears. Uh, enable a help video, so you can make a video that says, you know, what's going on. So if I show you this video, this is the video that they show. So that's enough of that. So you can see how that works. Okay, go away. So that's the video, or you can add your own, which shows them on their site and it shows you, and then you can go to your website and say, click here if you need help. Next, knowledge base. You can, ha you can send them to the Beaver Builder knowledge base, which looks like this. I'll zoom way in. So this is just the knowledge base everyone has access to, the public one, or you can send them to your own. Contact support, so this one I do change. Um, so I put in here, press avenue, slash, contact. We actually have a special client contact, but I'm not gonna put it in here. But you can make one for yourself. So it could be called client-contact. And then when they click that, it brings them to your site since you're either providing maintenance, hosting, support, whatever, or they forgot who you are and they've turned over people and they click it and now here you are, you're back. So I do recommend changing that and then go ahead and hit save. And then that is it for the white labeling. Is it worth the 200? Uh, you can decide on that. But you get the help button change and the branding change. And that's it. If you have any questions about Beaver Builder, either the standard pro or agency, please let us know below. If this was helpful in any way, I would love a thumbs up. Additionally, hit that red subscribe button to subscribe to more Beaver Builder tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Right below me is a square that you can click and subscribe to this channel so you can see more tutorial videos like this one. 
Next to it's a circle that'll bring you to our website for more helpful information. Over here on the right hand side is a video that's the most recent upload depending on when you watch this. Thanks for watching.